Hello, welcome to Storytime with the Houston Public Library. I'm Miss Crystal, and today we're going to be reading a fun book called The Bickleby's Bird Bath. This was written by Andrea Perry, and it was illustrated by Roberta Angaramo. We would like to thank Simon & Schuster for giving us permission to read this to you today. Hmm, let's find out what the Bickleby's bird bath is all about. Let's use some context clues. So in this picture, I do see lots of birds, which is good. You need that for a bird bath. And some children, they're always great in the story. And then there's a moose. Not sure about the moose. We'll find out. <clears throat> oh, looks like we might have a mailman in our story and even a goose. Let's begin. The Bickleby's Bird Bath. This is the Bickleby's Bird Bath. This is the mailman who fell in the Bickleby's Bird Bath. Splash! This is the goose, honk, that chased the mailman who fell in the Bickleby's Bird Bath. This is the moose, oh, that scared the goose that chased the mailman who fell in the Bickleby's bird bath. Uh-oh, this is the bee that stung the moose that scared the goose that chased the mailman who fell in the Bickleby's bird bath. This is the boy with the runny red nose who sneezed on the bee that stung the moose that scared the goose that chased the mailman who fell in the Bickleby's bird bath. This is the yard where the long green grass grows that was mowed by the boy with the runny red nose who sneezed on the bee that stung the moose that scared the goose that chased the mailman who fell in the Bickleby's bird bath. This is the scarecrow with nifty new clothes that fell in the yard where the long green grass grows that was mowed by the boy with the runny red nose who sneezed on the bee that stung the moose that scared the goose that chased the mailman who fell in the Bickleby's bird bath. What else could happen? <laughs> this is the nest full of buttons and bows that came from the scarecrow with nifty new clothes that fell in the yard where the long green grass grows that was mowed by the boy with the runny red nose who sneezed on the bee that stung the moose that scared the goose that chased the mailman who fell in the Bickleby's bird bath. Oh, this is the flock full of curious crows. Caw, caw that spruced up their nest with the buttons and bows that came from the scarecrow in nifty new clothes that fell in the yard where the long green grass grows that was mowed by the boy with the runny red nose who sneezed on the bee that stung the moose that scared the goose that chased the mailman who fell in the Bickleby's bird bath. This is the girl with the long leaky hose. that squirted the flock of curious crows that spruced up their nest with the buttons and bows that came from the scarecrow in nifty new clothes that fell in the yard where the long green grass grows that was mowed by the boy with the runny red nose who sneezed on the bee that stung the moose that scared the goose that chased the mailman who fell in the Bickleby's bird bath. This is the boy, his pet goose by his side He's helping the mailman get toweled and dried. The mailman wrapped tape on the hose with the crack. Scarecrow is raised from the ground and put back. Oh, that's nice of them to help each other because a lot of things have happened. <laughs> Inside their package, the Bickleby's find a brand new blue bird bath that's one of a kind. They fill it with water, the moose cools his snout. 
and off goes the mailman to finish his route. Whew! I hope the mailman doesn't have those kinds of adventures the whole time he's delivering mail. <laughs> that was a fun story. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye!